Have a seat. How's the game? Brings back memories. Just no iron to in the ribs this time, please. I already decided I won't kill you. Oh, so sweet. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. So me a live. Good work. So what about Somi? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system. Entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but Somi will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. Gotta hope these alternate means of yours do the trick. We made her a promise. Told her she'd be okay. I said she'd get the best care available. A chance to make up for her mistakes, mend her ways. I can't do any more than that. <sighs> I know, you're right. Did what we had to. Only thing we could do to give Somi a second chance. Somehow keep her safe. I'm with you on that. Just can't help wondering if... he couldn't have done more for her. V, Songbird is an FIA agent in critical condition in an FIA clinic. In the care of our top specialists. There's nothing more I can do for her. It's fully out of my hands. You in some kind of trouble? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. Langley or Glencoe is probably my next post. Desk job. To start, for a while, plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. We don't have all day. Sorry to be blunt, but we're a sleeper all that time. Now you're letting him sideline you again? You're not okay with this, that's clear. Those are my orders. I plan to follow them. We'll see if it brings any change. Well, seems you might have finally found your place on Earth. You ought to find yours too, before it's too late. Just not at any price. You know how that ends. Mm hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Take care, V. I'm going to hang back a little.
Surgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? How long will this take? What are we talking? Procedure? Rehab? We really don't know. Might be a week. Might be a month. Whatever the case, cat and plants. Find someone to take care of them. So the engram. Any... Way to avoid damaging it during excision? No, your mind needs reconstruction, V. The Matrix needs to wipe the relic, all data. Be honest now. How successful this stand to be? This hemisphere's top surgeons are waiting to help you. It'll work, rest assured. Attention, Donald Pack! Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. district are you hey yeah we should talk face to face nova heavy hearts here i come and don't drag your feet you won't be disappointed my my aren't we confident today Say you...
told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Come on, you knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. It's obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. The choice is clear, Johnny. Raising Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. Gonna argue about this again? Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Where are we going? An agency clinic in Langley. Got our best specialist stationed there. Right. Thanks. 
Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. You'll never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? Human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you ever toss back in again. I'm sure I'll handle it. Slipped up occasionally, but learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. The hell you want from me, Johnny? Acknowledgement, decency, a sprinkling of regret, and an apology. Want an apology for me choosing to save my own life? No, V. An apology for fucking ending mine. Even now, all you can think is to bicker. Is it so damn hard to say, Look, V, didn't see eye to eye and everything, but at least it was nice knowing you? You want me to act like this? Us. Was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms. The way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine. Yeah. But I wanted you to hear them. Could have been solid-ass tombs in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. We were too much alike. Stubborn to a fault. Iron-willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. Think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo. So, think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? 
Yeah. I can. You? I think I can, too. to speak with you. V, you in there? You scared me, you know that. I think you had nightmares. He screamed a few times. I don't know what I would do without you. Take care, V. And I would not want to cock this up. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Wake up, V! Afterlife. See you there. They're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? I think I... in here. And I can talk. Good. About time. Chirping. Not what you used to. Right. <laughs> Not you. Seem different somehow. Even almost look like. <clears throat> Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. I'm no exception. Was told. You got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise, in the AV, you weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. We need to ask, how is so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Train them recruits. Nothing to write home about. Now your style of work sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. How'd you know? When I wake. Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big-ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. Mm. 
What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant well, could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. I see. That's it? You're taking it pretty well. Lacking the strength to rage your reality. At least for now. I wish I could help you, V. But I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps want to help me. Never been able to. Why? Are you... You, you alright? I need... I need... Need some air. Oh, legs are jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damage my nervous system. <laughs> can hardly believe it. Why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, it reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preen, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And NC's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, Aaron Rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me.
say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? The one and only. <sighs> Unbelievable. But how are you... So, this netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. No damn way. River, it's me. Me who? Well, uh, V, obviously. Is it obvious? Stop futzing around. V I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect to hear after all this time? River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Clearly didn't have any other options. How could you possibly know that? I know you. Would have done it differently if you had a choice. I don't know. I'd like to believe that, but... Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet and help each other out? Too late for that. What? You'd rather not see me? Wait a sec, River.
Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V. It's me. The one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem you're alive, Joe! Kinda figured you might be happy. How's things, Carrie? Has the end of yours still standing? Who cares about a house? Someplace way prima right now. Sitting on a crystal palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beautiful fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, well, not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, June? I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Fuck. Do you yeah. know what? Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah, got surgery. That's why I'm alive. But it didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck me. Damn, I'm sorry. It sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or... Um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone what right now. What the hell did I say, Yugi? Let him fucking tune. I don't need to hold their hand. As long as it's all harmony. Carrie? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would, but I, I just can't swing it. Playing Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. What do you think? Gonna see you again? Shit, of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months, or... Okay, uh, four, four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, V, in the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. Uh, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V, where you been to? NUS Clinic had the uh, surgery. It's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of the time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. You should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing? With some drawbacks. I, uh... I'll never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... Got no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Thought I could drop by. See ya. We grab a pizza, talk. You know, a lot's changed. 
Supreme. Fresh NC gossip. Can't wait to hear it. V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now, really can't help you. Seriously? Congrats, Judy. <laughs> Thanks. I wish you could have come to the wedding. I'm just glad you found what you were looking for. When you disappeared, I knew I had to get away from Night City. And, well, <laughs> that's how I met Bianca. And what do you know? I, I'm happy, V. Well, bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Hey, hey, old Pan Am. Guess who's back from a little, uh, involuntary vacay? <laughs> but, bad jokes aside, guess you must have wondered where I'd gone. So, uh, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all, but not on the greatest terms. It'd be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. They're gonna love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional newcomer. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. How's Biz, Del? Eddie's flowing in? Very kind of you to ask. I cannot complain. I am now a proud partner of the illustrious Trauma Team. And, uh, private life? Blooming? I do apologize, but it is a policy of mine never to discuss personal matters with clients. Met before, Adele. You just don't remember because of that data reboot. 
If you say so. Don't believe me? I have no reason to disbelieve you, sir. I am merely of the opinion that this information changes not. Maybe we could swing by my place. Of course. I shall put your address there. Oh. What's up? It appears you were evicted a year ago due to unpaid rent. I'm afraid I cannot fulfill your request. Oh, fuck me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Huh. Looks like I might have misjudged Yorinobu. If it wasn't for his goons trying to zero me, I might even have had a little sympathy for the guy. He proved quite the interesting character in spite. Our sock is on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Our sock is on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack a Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. Doesn't matter. Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. I shall await here for your return. Better get going. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. Oh really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know no Gabrielle. See that? I knew it. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Misty Olszewski? She here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? 
Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic, so good to see you, old Ripper. V, how long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. Ha, <laughs> you're making a habit of this, rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on, you're stuck with me. Not about to go away. I'd be lying if I said the thought of you gone never crossed my mind. To a happy return, then. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout. For the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life is simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty Shop. <laughs> and all her sense. All right, come on, hop in the chair. So, no drinking after all. Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. So, Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. Okay. Let's get to this. That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment, so what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be him again. You know what I mean? What are you trying to say exactly? This Seda tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? That was pressure. Some threats even. Resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Former clients never liked Corpo, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore.
Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of, of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt, waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, <laughs> sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. I say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening Said kind. you can do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Should I start aiming lower, too? Could be the key to happiness. It's not easy settling. With time, though. You realize you no longer remember why you wanted it any other way. Oh. What if I want to remember? Wish I knew what to tell you, kid. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Friend of yours. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh, V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? 
Petrochem cocks fucked us. Believe I told you your numbers were low. They got the better position. Pure. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Drop it, let me alone. Hmm. Uh... Nope. Show me the money. Know a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? <laughs> Padre instills a fear of God and man. <laughs> Old road cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah! now. Are you in one piece? What are you even doing here? I heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. That jacket you're wearing. Jackies? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kinda stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Look at you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know. Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. 
I need a break from the city and the crowds. Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you'd uh, parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. <sighs> Man, of all people. Never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Um, Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Could use a smoke, too. Here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty... Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm... I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Hmm. FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me? It'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. <sighs> Doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. <sighs> Flat on its ass. Like it was when you came back from Atlanta? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. Made the best choice of all of us. Leaving an NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. 
If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. V. So, you went and beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City. And in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, 
I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's it's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's it's good to know that you're you're whole. You're you're all right. But um, well, don't expect her to return your call. No, and and then don't try her again if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh, now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. A.V., I wouldn't mind knowing how you manage it. Langley awaits if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? Navy, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? <laughs>